What is the difference between potting soil and potting media? In this video, I'm going to focus on the material we use in pots for house plants. The terms potting soil and potting media mean different things to different people, and it also depends on where you live. Before I get into that, let's talk about another term, soilless media. So we have two basic types of media, one that has soil in it and another one that has no soil. The one with no soil is called a soilless mix. Now when I use the term soil, I'm referring to that stuff that's outside in the ground, sand, silt, and clay. In North America, the terms potting soil and potting media tend to be mixed up and people use one or the other, but they generally mean the same thing. I had a look at about 20 different products available in North America. Some use one term, some use the other. Didn't really matter. None of those products had soil in them. In North America, when we go out and buy material for our house plants, it's always a soilless mix. There's no soil in it. We probably should stop using the term potting soil, but that's unlikely to happen. In Australia, they don't use the term potting soil. They use potting mix instead. Their products are mostly soilless mixes and they're based on some type of organic matter that's usually based on decomposed wood, either bark or wood chips or pine needles, but it's decomposed plant material. Whereas in North America, most of our product is based on peat. And part of the reason for that is that Canada has a huge supply of peat moss and it's readily available and very inexpensive. And that's what we tend to use here. This whole thing started in the 30s when the UK government wanted to find a potting media that worked really well for plants. And so they asked the John Innes Center, which was a research station at the time, to do the research and figure out what mixture works really well for growing plants indoors. They came up with a formula and called it the John Innes Compost. Note that they didn't use soil or mix. It was a compost. Now the mixture has real soil, some sort of organic matter, and historically that has been peat moss, although they're moving away from peat moss in the UK. It also has some sand and grit and some fertilizer. That formulation has become extremely popular in the UK, and now several different manufacturers supply it but all of the John Innes products are still based on real soil. Now I did find some products available in the UK that are called potting mix, and those tend to be soilless mixes. So the UK tends to use two terms, compost, which has soil in it, and mix, which doesn't have soil in it. Now the term compost is a little odd too. In North America, compost is that stuff that comes out of a compost pile. In the UK, the term compost is used for the material that comes out of a compost pile, but the term is also used for the stuff you put into pots. If you live in an area that I haven't mentioned, I'd like to know what the terms mean in your country. Please add a comment below, tell me where you live and what these terms mean. Are the products that are sold in your country labeled potting soil or potting mix? and what are the ingredients in those bags. I hope I've cleared this up a little bit, but you should be aware that these terms are used differently, because if you're reading a blog post or a book that's written in one country or another, you have to be aware of what these terms mean. That leaves us with some other questions. Should you buy your potting mix, or should you make your own? And I'm gonna deal with that in the next video. Another question I'm gonna answer in an upcoming video is, how do you buy a good potting media? What should you look for? What are the ingredients you want in that bag? And how do you select the best product? I'll see you in the next video.